the first thing we want to bring in is the survival rates copy the charts ctrl c and we'll go to the dashboard and then we say ctrl v so first thing we remove this white space right click on it go to format chart area click no no fill and no line we also don't need the legend click on the plus sign and say mm -hmm. no legend we don't need a white line around click on the donut itself and say no line so first we need the total of people that survived then the total of number of people that did not survive you click on the donut chart click on solid fill and we'll take one of these colors we'll go back to the color again okay we'll take this main color for the donuts we'll make this color a little darker so let's say 80 percent good then the part we want emphasis click on it twice once the second time then go back again to the solid color but this time we remove this so we have this as our first design for the donuts so we just click on it ctrl c and ctrl v to create the second donut so we'll hold and shift to check the alignment okay so we can check the alignment click on this and go to alignment and say align right in this second donut now we'll do the reverse click on this one we'll remove click on this one twice and we'll make the transparency 80 percent now we'll click on this other one twice and we'll remove the transparency okay so we have our first donut for the design this represents the total number of people that survived and this represents the total number of deaths the next thing we want to bring the total number of people that we have and then also indicates the number of people that survived and the number of people that died so firstly we click on this and convert its shear value as no calculation we can come to this point and then type equal to and then click on this we have this if we drag this here and also drag this here to give us the number and we bring this here to give us the total so we can easily calculate the percentage this will be equal to this divided by this will give us this number and this one will be equal to this this divided by this it also give us a number if we change both of them to percentage format sales percentage no decimal please to give us 68 and this percent so we'll come to our dashboard we need a text box so click on insert click on this and click on a text box we we'll draw a text box here we we'll go to view bring up the formula bar so we'll come to this point and we'll say equal to this to have this total figure okay format it to number number 1000 separator remove the decimal places so you know our text box click inside click on equal to and click on this so we have this increase the font size let's use something around 48 let's make it bold okay for the text box we don't need shape fill we say no fill shape outline we say no outline for the text inside select it and we'll select the bright lighter color yes so we'll have this as our number we need to format this to the center so click on it and say format center format center let me pick one of these as syllable so i ungroup this i want to take just the top here so I have a copy of this and I group this back. 
group. Okay, so we can have these as labels. So we need to make this label smaller to accommodate space. And we need to align it with this one. Bring it down so that align with this one top. Align top. Okay. So in this text box, we want to add text to total number of passengers. Okay, and the font size 11 bold white 10 8 9. Okay, 8 total number of passengers, and we'll make it in the middle. Okay, so let's turn off the form number so we have space. I'm copy and we paste second one. Let's see, be sure that it can carry. And we have a third one. Let's align all of these one, two, and three. Let's align them. Align them towards the center. So this would survive round. Okay, so this one did not survive. Let's copy this and paste here. We need to show the show this as a percentage. So we'll bring up the formula by again. In this case, what we need for those that survived is 38 percent. So we'll click on click on this, click on format painter, click on this and paste it here. Okay, the 38 is a bit too too big for it. Let's Reduce it to 20, let's reduce it to 18, and 18% here. So take it to the middle. So copy this and bring it here. Click on survive and click on this to give us this. If we click here, Click on Format Painter, click here twice, automatically be arranged. Click on the two of them, go to Align, Align towards the center. Okay, so we have this as one of our views. 